This question is to determining the domain of a mathematical expression containing square roots and absolute values, ensuring it yields a valid real number. Which values of x make the expression? The square root of 3 minus the absolute value of x, divided by the square root of the absolute value of 2 times x plus 1 minus 4. A valid real number? Option A x is between negative 3 and 1 and a half, including negative 3, but not including 1 and a half. Option B x is between negative 2.5 and 3, not including negative 2.5, but including 3. Option C x is between negative 3 and negative 2.5, not including negative 2.5, or x is between 1.5 and 3, not including 1.5, but including 3. Option D x is between negative 3 and 3, including both ends. First step is to understand what makes the expression meaningful. For the entire expression to make sense. First, the part under the square root in the numerator, which is 3 minus the absolute value of x, must be greater than or equal to 0. This tells us that the absolute value of x must be less than or equal to 3. Second, since the denominator is also under a square root and it's in the bottom of a fraction, we need the part under that square root to be strictly greater than 0. That part is the absolute value of 2 times x plus 1 minus 4. So, the absolute value of 2x plus 1 must be greater than 4. Next step is to solve these two requirements separately. From the first condition, the absolute value of x less than or equal to 3 tells us that x must be between negative 3 and positive 3, including both. From the second condition, we solve that the absolute value of 2x plus 1 is greater than 4. That happens when 2x plus 1 is less than negative 4, or when 2x plus 1 is greater than 4. Solving both, we find that x must be less than negative 2.5 or greater than 1.5. Next step is to combine the two conditions. Now we intersect both requirements. The first tells us x must be between negative 3 and 3. The second tells us x must either be less than negative 2.5 or greater than 1.5. So the final valid range for x is x is between negative 3 and negative 2.5, not including negative 2.5 or x is between 1.5 and 3, not including 1.5, but including 3. The correct answer is option C. When dealing with square roots and absolute values, always check the conditions separately. What must be non-negative or positive, then take the overlap of those conditions. That gives you the final valid range. That's it for this question solving. This video is based on our math tutoring blog and class recordings. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel Math Tutor 8285 and turn on the notification bell. Press the like button. Thank you so much.